love the football. Hi, my name is Vinnie James. I'm 21 years old and I am a football fanatic. Today I'm going to tell you about my coaching philosophy. And it's simple. All you have to do is love the football. A big belief of mine is to try and get the fo children to have as much time with the football as possible. During my coaching sessions I have to be, have quick and clear demonstrations and that means no waiting in lines for children. To get the most out of a session they must have a football with them at the whole time. In order to create a fun environment for my players I believe that I have to get on their wavelength. Maybe acting like a clown with the younger ones or even discussing my beautiful love for Justin Bieber. And I was like, baby, 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 oh, and I was like, baby, 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 oh, and I was like, baby, 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 girl, you're the one for me. Love the football. <laughs> Vinnie James, left back, and remember, love the football. In order to challenge my players, I am always thinking of ways I can improve the more advanced players in the same drills as the less talented ones. By not making it obvious, I may ask the ones to progress. For example, if we were doing a basic dribbling drill, I would like the more talented players to throw some step overs in, or even some feints, in order for him to not get bored and not enjoy it. My philosophy is to love the ball, and in order to do that, I very rarely want to see the ball played in the air like that. For example, my matches will be played on similar sized pitches. Goalkeepers are only allowed to underarm throw the ball out, and they will pass the ball instead of throwing it. This is essential for children just trying the sport out, as it's make or break if they are constantly running after a ball, instead of running with it. When coaching with the more progressive and older footballers, I like to introduce lots of conditioned games. May it be a certain amount of passes to score a goal or a dribbling on a line to score a goal. In every drill that I take with the younger children, I make them game related to something that they are already interested in. Whether it's Toy Story or the latest video game, as long as they can reenact their favourite heroes, they will enjoy being in the football a lot more. Ref! 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 During my time with the New York Red Bulls, I hope to not only develop other people's skills via my coaching ability, but to also develop and maintain my high, high standards as a person and coach. In order to develop a, person, a player as a person, I will teach them respect, teamwork and sportsmanship. Love the football. No! To build confidence in players, it's not enough just to have a great curriculum with the best people teaching it. You have to teach the techniques and tactics in a way that motivates the players to want to practice and want to improve. I believe as a coach I can create a unique teaching methodology that incorporates a progressive series of practices where increased levels of pressure, added restrictions and game-like competition are introduced as players become comfortable with the skill being taught. Thank you for listening and just remember, love the football. Love the football!